Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the another episode of my uh, Darkness Falls series. So it is the morning of day 45 and we found a trader last night. So I've been in here selling him some stuff, um, searching through stuff here. Uh, we don't have the ability to really do much at this point because we don't really have a lot of ammo. Uh, so it's not like we can, like, and after what we experienced yesterday, we can't really go and do a whole lot. Um, but what I am doing is, like, I tried to get enough parts if I had to see if I had parts to put together a weapon that I could use 7.62 or 9 mil with, and I don't. I mean, we could always buy something off the trader. I'm just going to break these down real quick here. But I was hoping to put something together because uh, the trader's got a functioning workbench. I'm actually making some steel arrows right now in the workbench. So uh, I was hoping to be able to just like... Actually, I think there's an AC unit up here. I was hoping to be able to just put stuff together and make a weapon here. But I don't think that's going to happen. So we're probably going to have to bail home today. And I think what we'll do when we get home uh, is start working on the base. Can I jump down? I don't want to jump down there. I just bad times okay so we grabbed a bunch of stuff from here hey buddy why don't you come over to the door it was pretty quiet around here last night there wasn't a lot of zombies so there we go Oh, car's in his way. Nice. So yeah, like like I said, uh, I was pretty quiet here last night, so I was able to do a few things. Let's go ahead and break this apart. Those will electrocute me. Now there's stuff here. Forge. Ooh, a crucible. I'm gonna knock a free crucible. 90 concrete. Might as well break this up. So in a second, we're gonna go back to the trader. I think he's got a shotgun. Some wood. I think he's got a shotgun. I mean, we could buy the shotgun. It's like level 22 or something, so it really isn't that good. I was hoping to find like I could find a lathe here or something, but because then I could put parts together and make a weapon, but that's not gonna happen. Ooh, a battle axe. Two shotgun rounds. I, I think that's probably it. Yeah. Alright, um... Let's just go up in here and sell him a couple things. Something you like. So I've already broken into his safe. Didn't have much. He had like a stun baton or something like that. I think I sold it right back to him. Or may still be in here. Yeah. So I didn't have much. Um, but I have bought a few things already from him. He had tons of gunpowder, which is back in the in the uh, truck. Now, weapon-wise, you've got a pump shotgun, which is just not going to cut it. Because against armored zombies, like, what's... like, It does nothing, you know? Uh, I mean, we could do AP slugs with it. But only 25 of them. Secret stash. Has really got nothing. Pistol parts, but we need a P225 receiver. So nothing here. So it's like... Yeah, there's like no point, you know? I mean, we could go try and find a POI. Yeah, I'm back now. Yeah, you know, I might be back. We'll see. We could go try and find a POI that's got... Like, relatively easy to break into, and then maybe we can find a weapon. What the hell is that on the ground? Can I not pick that up? Wow, that's like... Do I have to have a free hand? Guess not. I don't know why that's there. 
you got me. So we got 91 rounds for the 44. I bought some rounds last night. Uh, let's drop off a bunch of stuff in here. Found a treasure map in this guy's place, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's leave the battle axe in there. You can go in there. Might as well throw the core rifle in there for now. If we find out, if we find ammo for it, great. If not, well, no biggie. What do we want to throw away from here? Let's toss out. I think we could toss this. We can scrap this. Put those two in. Might as well use you now. Can toss the acid in there. Uh, we don't need that. Let's use one of these. Toss you in there. Alright, so not bad. We got 471 pages. So let's have a look around this town. Actually, let's mark on this guy on the map first here. So it's nice that we did find a trader. But there's no taking quests from this guy. So 91 rounds of the 44 Magnum. It's not going to give us much. I have no, I no idea how big this town is. Another road that leads out here. So that probably leads back into town. Let's go to this boathouse. I know there's a workbench in there. I think there's some boxes at the top of this boathouse. Let's just hope there's not a lot of guys in here. Somebody in there. There's someone right here. See if we can get a good shot at his head. Oh, somebody like. See if we can bring both these guys to us. Oop, that's a white. Did not think that was a white. Good thing nobody else is waking up. Can deal with you easy enough. Now, can we shoot in there? Yep. Let's just give you a way out here. Oh, there's water there. Oh shit! Biker. Stay down, you fuckers. Battle you can't win. God, this bat is so good. Come on, give me a lathe. Yeah. Oh, some more stuff we can sell. Something we can scrap. Well, let's wait the guy upstairs up. I think I heard a white. Oh, it's Big Mama. What's up, Mama? Whatever I can handle the white with the bat. Maybe. Yeah, get wrecked, son. I think that was luck. That's locked. Okay, I think the backyard's clear.
Okay. Take that. All right, well. Maybe we got a lathe in here. Nope. And nope. Leveled up though, we got two skill points. All right, let's go see if there's anything else easy we can do. It's like some kind of restaurant or something. I think we'll pass on that. Probably too many zombies there. If it's a if it's a, a custom POI, it's pretty much guaranteed we're going to have a, fa a fair amount of zombies. Who's that? Where are we? Let's go this way. Snack shack. Oh, there's a lot more down here. Okay, research place. It's down here. Military trucks intriguing because usually you can find food and stuff in there. Town market. Asia food, huh? Ah, Glock 9's house. Uh. Oh, yeah. Military bunker. That's always fun if you want to die. That's the old POI, too. That's not the new one. The new one's got the got the uh, the trench and the minefield around it. I like them both. The new one's kind of okay. I think it's easier to go through though. The old one, I think it's got way more zombies. What the hell is that? Big building over here. What is this? Oh, is this the Isaiah? I think it is. Don't feel like getting killed today, thanks. Yeah, it's the Isaiah. Okay, there's a gun bag in that place that I know of. Let's do this one real quick. Actually, this is one of my favorite POIs, one of my favorite starter POIs. There's a dog usually out front, but other than that, there's two zombies inside, gun bag. This iron, this can all be updated to uh, steel. Yeah, so what I did, like, and um, I was trying to do, there's the dog right there. Uh, sometimes he'll appear there, sometimes he'll be up there, but sometimes he's right behind that wall there. Um, and when I was trying to do the playthrough with no traders uh, in the in the wasteland biome, I generated a map, and this was the building that I started off in. Shit, really? How did I miss that? And basically, you know, I dug down, got some iron and everything under this place. Let's just go in with the bat. Should be fine here. Um, ooh. I think that should be it, probably. Yep. So, uh, yeah, dug down, got some iron, reinforced this whole thing to iron, went to, uh, eventually went to, um, Steel on the outside it goes to co well, concrete, then steel, right? But um, yeah, the thing about this place is that it's it's the perfect size. And then what I did was right here, I put a uh, electric fence post, ran the wire outside to over here, and made it made this concrete, broke all that out, reinforced all this, made this as a roof and everything, right? Ran the wire across that way, and then just use this right this door right here with hatches as my horde base. <laughs> And I was just able to murder the zombies as they would come to the door. It was actually pretty good. Worked out pretty well. You'd never be able to do it in this mod, obviously, but... Okay, I'm gonna loot this place. That opens up a whole 
mess of stuff for us. P225, we can actually do stuff now. We can do stuff now. Oh yeah, man! Okay, what's in the weapons bag? Alright, take all that stuff. I'm gonna quickly wreck all this stuff in here. Grab the electrical parts and we'll get the hell out of here. Alright, that's good enough. Scrap this. Scrap this. Scrap, scrap. Sure. Let's put what we, what we can in the bike. Let's remove this. Actually, let's leave that there. Shift all this down. Move the P225 up a bit, I think. Now. Let's get... Okay. Storage. Drop what we can in there. It's nice. We got a lot of stuff we can drop in there. And let's take you, because we're going to modify. And take this, this. Be care if it's loud. I think the rad remover is more important. I think we're going to be going to be using this when shit hits the fan. So let's take that out. Oops. And we want to do that. Then let's bring out a stack of this. Okay, we don't need the stone. Scrap this. Those two can go in. Anything else we don't need? I'm sure there's stuff in here that I'm like missing. Alright, that's fine. That doesn't go in? Alright, so do we have... Um, yeah, you don't take any of that. I was hoping to put this in something, but I don't think it'll go in here either. Oh, it does. What do you know? Perfect. Alright, let's load up with AP ammo. Alright, now we can take on something. Now we've got a weapon that we can actually use to kill people with. Uh, let's find something to do here. I gotta spend the night going back home. Day 40. It'll be 46, I guess, when we get home. We, oh yeah, there's plenty of time to like... Plenty of time to figure out what we're gonna do. For Horde. Now is this... That's the way out of town. So let's go this way. Sometimes you can find some stuff in here. I can't remember if it's a gun bag up here or if we're just a circle. I think it's a gun bag up here. Yep, weapons bag. Okay. Got a grenade. This pace is this this pace. This place has kind of piqued my interest. It looks like a, uh, a user-made horde base. Okay, no lag. Kind of interesting. Oh, shit! When it rains, it pours. Shit, god damn it. Might as well have some pie before we go back to get our shiz. That's a half a million miles away. Alright, well. I think we got crickets. I wonder if we... Ah, uh, man, we can't make... We gotta take the mini bike. It's gonna take forever. I'm gonna need some gear, though. Bring that. Bring that. Um, 
I should bring some coil rounds. That's all we got, eh? Uh, oh. Should be able to make... Where's the lead? Oh, got this stuff here. We've got casings. And what do we need? Plastic? Wait, what are we missing? Bullet tips. Uh, we were making some, right? Yeah, not a lot, though. Uh, where's... Those, bring this out. We might as well make... Oops. Uh, sorry about how dark it is. Um, the clay. Many tips as we can make. By the time we get back, they'll all be done. Sounds like a wandering horde. Because why wouldn't it be? Okay, those can all go back in there. Shotgun's loaded. Nope. It is now. Fat. Uh, Alright. Getting in the mini bike, getting the hell out of here. Ah, shit, it's a white! Ah! Well, I can't go back and close the door. Maybe be people in our base when we get back, but whatever. We're on our way out of here. You know, I should have realized something was up in that water. I was like, this is too easy. Why would they just have this here? But, oh well. I guess worst case scenario, if we don't get down there in time, we can always hold up and trade our trade other brother bobs. I got to be careful going back in that water to find my my uh, my bag. I got to take the same line because if there's mines in there, then um, I'm gonna like run right into them again. Either that, or I can. I guess I can put down a uh, a bedroll at um, at Bob's place. But that's uh, I don't know. Not punishing enough, I guess, for dying. This is a hard mod, though. The behemoth. Okay, you know, you could say the behemoth, I, I wasn't ready for it. You know, that was a uh, legit death, I think. Christ, we might run out of gas. Um, that was le definitely a, a legit death. But the uh, the mine, I should have been more aware. I'm shocked it did that much damage, though. Like, in the past, like, I had, I mean, I had, a, a, like, tons of hit points. Like, 170-something, I think, at the time. And pretty good armor, so the, the the mines do a fair amount of damage. I'm kind of shocked. Okay, we just passed the first town. And we're down to 27% gas, so we're going to be pretty darn close when we get there. I don't know if we're going to have enough gas to get there to where, where our body is, because this is a long ride down here. I took a fairly long drive down this place, so where are we here? Oh, maybe not. Oh, we're a little... Okay, I think we'll be fine. Alright, well, here we are. It wasn't so bad. Down to 12%. Alright, let's just do this. Just so I think everything should go back to where it's supposed to. I hope. Now we went along this ridge right here. Okay, so the bow is not in position. Wrong crowbar. That's fine. Now, see there, it's the gray ones. That's what I'm looking for. I can't not go here now, right? I mean, I could not go. I just have no way to get back here if I die again. Does this... I 
I hope there's something good here, because if there's nothing here... Now, is this metal? Probably. Yeah. Okay, all quiet. Antibiotics. Supply crate. With some paper. And I'm... Okay. We gotta break our way in here. Good thing we have Sex Rex maxed out. Alright, let's go with this guy. This don't look so good. Okay, nothing there. That's a door. Guess that's the shower. Might as well break these up. Now. Not too bad, I guess. I think that just goes out. Ooh, well, hello there. That's open. Another magnum. Some ammo, that's open. Ooh, that's for, uh... M60. Okay. Now, this is where we die. Just don't die. Oh shit. This could just be one of those POIs that's just like gives you a way out. And it's really nothing. Or it could be not. That's a crawl space. Mushrooms. Yeah. God damn it, do I go down? Gotta stop doing that. There's nothing behind there. This is pretty funky. Okay, I think I heard something. I don't think we're... This is fucking awesome. Look at the lighting on this. Nice job, whoever did this. I haven't got a lag spike yet. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. 
that just screams death to me. You know, I should come back here when I've got uh, proper gear. Like if if there's behemoths down here, I'm not saying there is. It seems pretty quiet. You think that if there was something in here, it would have spawned in by now. But then I've been through a couple of POIs that are like like that library that waits for you to get inside it before all that shit drops on your head. If I hadn't have known about that, that would have been a bad time. All right, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to go actually check out, though, this side. We're going to come back here with proper gear. That's the correct way to do this. Come on, don't clip. I'm trying not to look at anything. Does it just end? Yeah, it looks like it's the end of the POI. Alright, well... That's kind of cool, though. I guess, technically, it's kind of like the emergency way out. Come on. Damn it. Keep my head down so I'm not looking at anything. Alright, well, this is a mission for another day. Shit, really? Can we go straight up? Oh, you can. Nice. Alright, well. Dying two times in a couple episodes is not fun. Okay, now we came in. Ah, uh, fuck off. Fuck off. I'm gonna leave these here, actually. Because we'll be back. Alright, let's go pick up that mini bike. All right, we gotta head home. Although we're gonna have a, we never did look at throughout the whole town, right? Uh, we're pretty much there. We just gotta check out what's in the center. Okay, another motorhome. Looks just like. Help us! Remember that from the, the first day in the Kempri series. Help us building. Alright, where are we? Here? Go down south, turn a little bit. Oh, this is the uh, glass factory, isn't it? This might be the glass factory. NKA? No, it's not. Okay, up the street. So a lot of good things down here to check out. Yeah, not much there. That's got to be a factory. Oh, winter makers, right? The window maker place. All right, well, that's it for here. No, it's not. All 
All right, another trailer. I know we got a uh, workbench in here. Might as well take the resources while we're here. God, the textures just keep getting worse and worse. It's like a degenerative. I don't, I don't understand it. It's only for some things, too. Like, most stuff is fine. But the car's just fine. But this car's not fine. Alright, well, that's it for the town. So let's head back. Got a fair way to go. Keep the shotgun out. Back it up. This way, right? Yep. Alright, so I'm going to whip back to the house. And then... Uh, I'm going to get stuff sorted around for tomorrow, depending on what time I get back tonight. Um, going to get my rebar ready, my concrete ready. We're going to do the ground in concrete. Um, I want to figure out a better situation for the um, for the uh, turrets, where we can put um, more auto turrets. Because right now the situation is not ideal and I really hope I can get through a lot of these places. Some of these places are just really hard to get through with the big plow on the front. There we go. So yeah, we're going to figure out, we can make some auto turret mark twos now. So I'll probably make a few of those. I'm going to make the ones that take the steel ammo. Because we've got plenty of iron, we can make plenty of steel. Steel jacketed ammo. And then um, we'll figure out where they're going to go. I'm thinking watching the ramp way. But I don't know where. Like we could put it... I don't know. i got to figure it out so that it's not damaging our buildings or shooting at the guards. We've kind of got a weird situation because with the guards everywhere, we're limited to where we can point the turrets and not have to worry about the guards getting hit. The one on the roof, we're going to put up some blinders on it so it doesn't see the zombies on the ramp. And then we'll get other, the, like, like, like I said, the steel ammo turrets focusing on the guys in the ramp. So at least we minimize the amount of 9 millets being used by that turret. Then we'll look into making a coil sniper. I don't know if we've got, I think with our weapon level at level 5 now, I think we're able to make the coil sniper. Um, in which case we'll make a coil sniper rifle and, and replace the coil rifle with it. And I've got to make a bunch of mods, so we're going to need to invest a lot of our coin into getting um, those uh, blue generic schematics so that we can actually make a lot of mods. Like the tier 3 mods, I think, take 15 schematics. So we really got to be like frugal with them. Uh, yeah, I can connect to the road over here. Beautiful. There's a few things that I want to make. There's the, um, extended clip magazine or double clip magazine, which basically doubles your ammo, which I think we need. Then there's also an armor shredder mod, which I think per hit reduces the, the enemy's armor level by 10%. To a maximum of 60, I think. I think there's a max on it, but... Um, it can shred the enemy's armor. So if we're using armor-piercing rounds in a P225 with the armor shredder mod, which I think you can do, it'll, it should rip through enemies like demolishers and stuff really, really fast. Like one mag should be more than enough for a demolisher. Wow, I just smashed right through a shopping cart with this thing. That's pretty good. Can I get, I get up here? Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. So we're going to take the car right inside today. We did leave a door open. Hopefully those zombies aren't... Well, if they're there, we'll take care of them real easy. But hopefully those zombies aren't there when we get there. We'll park the car right inside tonight. And tomorrow we're going to work on the base. I think it will be a, has to be a full episode of getting the base done and getting our shit and gear in order.
before the horde. And I think I want to change the way the horde base is laid out a little bit. I want to change, like, I think the guards need to be encased kind of some, like in, a, in the corners in some kind of guard tower. Um, so they're protected from above and things like that because, like I said, later in the mod we're going to have like incubuses and things like that. Um, that are just going to blow holes in our roof. So if they can do that to us, they can certainly trash the guards really easy. So I want to try and keep as many of them alive as possible. So we'll, what we'll do is try and put a roof over them. Like a solid roof. Alright, Joe's zombie removal service reporting back to the house. i to take a drive around the, uh, the house here. See if there's any zombies. We'll run them over. Looks pretty quiet so far. Kind of weird uh, texture line. There we go. Park it so we can get out of here tomorrow. Oops. My bad. Alright, that's going to end the episode, guys. I am going to get this stuff loaded up. Get as much of it in as I can. Might as well just scrap this. And then, uh, like I said, tomorrow we're going to work on the base. I got I think we're going to turn this into a solid block. And like I said, below here will be our main base. We'll uh, make it nice and thick. Um, we'll definitely have it so that uh, we can get in and out really fast and really easy. But then things like this, we got to figure out where the wires are going to go. Um, got somebody at the door. Fuck them, I'll repair it later. Uh, yeah, we'll figure out where that's going to go. And we need more storage. We're like out of... This is insanity. All right. I got to start. I don't know. We got, like I said, we got to get this sorted because this is ridiculous now. We just have no room for anything anymore. Uh, put the stuff in here that we can't put anywhere else. All right. Well, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.